the weapon fully penetrated the body. The force of the blow was immense. This man is in his 50s, yet he still looks quite strong. Peter Carey was fully dressed. He was not caught by surprise. It is possible that he knew his murderer. Peter Carey was impaled to the wall by a wailing harpoon. This wooden handle is plain and solid. This blood is from the pool underneath the dead body. Peter Carey tried to defend himself with this knife, but he did not succeed. J.H.N. are probably the initials of the owner of this notebook. The pattern of the blood stain indicates that the notebook was not lying on the floor prior to the crime, but it was dropped into the pool of blood after the death of Peter Carey. These abbreviations mean something, but what? Someone was here yesterday. They attempted to force the door to gain entry. Well, Mr. Holmes, what do you think? I think that we are lucky. And why is that? Because of last night's attempted break-in. 
You've lost me. It is very probable that whoever came here hoped to find the door open. They tried to force it with a knife blade, but they failed. What will they do? Why, return tonight, when they will be better prepared. Aha! So what do you propose? We shall remain on the outside, near the window, where we stand the best chance of catching sight of our visitor. Well, gentlemen, ready your pistols. We have a long night ahead of us. We need to find a good place for an ambush. Perhaps behind Carey's cabin, near the window. This looks like the perfect hiding place. Did you hear that? There's someone there. I'm gonna collar him. I'll be right behind you. Police! Hold it right there! Mr. Holmes, come and see what we've caught in our net. All right, my fine fellow. Who are you and what are you doing here? You're detectives, I suppose. You imagine that I'm connected with the death of Captain Carey. I assure you I'm innocent. Innocent? Then what are you doing in his cabin? Shall I tell you? You came to retrieve what you had lost after killing Peter Carey, but we were here waiting for you. What is your name? John Hopley Nelligan, but I... I didn't... Do you deny that you came here yesterday? No, but... but I... yes, it, it's just that I couldn't... I'm tired of this. Off we go to the yard. Tomorrow, I'll see that you're put in front of the judge. What? But you can't! I'm not... It's a terrible mistake. Enough. You can explain all of that to the judge. You're coming with me to the yard. But... In light of recent events, it seems evident that your coming here was unnecessary. All the same, I'm very grateful to you, Mr. Holmes. You are welcome, Inspector. But please don't be too hard on our young fellow. I would like to question him tomorrow morning. Holmes. 
Good morning, Mr. Holmes. Can I help you? Good morning, Constable. I would like to speak to the fellow who was arrested at Woodman's Lee last night. Ah, the young man. He's waiting in the interrogation room. You can go straight through. His belongings are held in the evidence room. Thank you. the suspect's belongings. The notebook that we found on Peter Carey's cabin floor. These abbreviations mean something, but what? A pocket knife. It was used to force the door of Peter Carey's cabin. A handkerchief with the initials J.H.N. To my friend, from R. Dawson. Dawson. I've seen this name before. Perhaps my archive holds the answer. Thank <laughs> you. 